from KTVN Reno. You're watching Two News at Five. If you're Jones and to go camping, tomorrow <laughs> may be your first opportunity in months. I'm Kristen Remington. I'm Ryan Canada. Thanks for being with us. A lot of people looking forward to this. Nevada State Parks will reopen their campgrounds tomorrow morning. Well, tonight, Paul Nelson joins us live at the Davis Creek Campground. And Paul, not all areas will reopen for camping tomorrow, though, right? No, not all of them, Ryan. In fact, this campground at Davis Creek won't open until at least next week. Washoe County runs this one. The U.S. Forest Service and the BLM won't open up theirs right away either. But if you go to a state park, they say they're ready to go. Washoe Lake State Park employees are marking off half of its campsites, keeping the campground of 50% capacity. We have cones and caution tape that we're putting up, and we'll also have signs that tell people that we're, we're closed um, at that 50% capacity level. 24 campsites will open here in the morning, with a maximum of eight people at each one. We're going to be opening up at 8 a.m. Uh, the park technically opens at sunrise, so about 5.30, 5.45. We're anticipating a line. Um, those 24 sites are going to go quick. Dawson says you should go somewhere local and only go with people you live with and have a backup plan just in case your first option is full. The closest um, park that has camping to us is Davis Creek, and right now they're closed. So you might have to think um, about another state park like Dayton State Park um, or maybe Walker River. Washoe County and the BLM are still discussing when they'll open their campgrounds. That could happen next week. The U.S. Forest Service plans to open its Nevada campgrounds this Saturday. The state is working with these agencies to change the fire restrictions to what's typical for the summertime. However, we do allow people to have campfires in their designated fire ring in the campground, and then also charcoal grills. Um, they can have those at our day use areas. The state parks won't be fully open, but it's a start. I can't wait to see families recreating um, and tents and campers back in the park and, and people just enjoying the great resource that we have here in Nevada. Keep in mind the weather is already hot and dry, so it's important to be careful with your campfires and your barbecue grills. Dawson says the fire restrictions will be pretty consistent between the jurisdictions within Nevada. She says it's always a good idea to bring a shovel, an axe, and some water just in case. Covering the story live, Paul Nelson.